Okay, children. Today we are going to learn about decimals. Okay, just some basic things related to decimals. What is a decimal number? I know you all know this. Okay, what is a decimal number? Okay, let's take an example. Thirty-three point one three seven. Here I took a decimal number thirty three point one three seven. Okay, how will you read it? Thirty three point. This is called point decimal point. Thirty three point one three seven. In class six, you already learned decimal. Just again, I am making you uh, know about few basic facts related to decimals. Okay, so thirty three point one three seven. Okay, so this thirty-three decimal number has two parts. Before decimal point one part, that is known as whole number part. Whole number part. The part which is before decimal point and part which is after decimal point. This is called decimal part. Decimal part. And this dot that is called decimal point. The dot is the dot is decimal point. Decimal point. So a decimal number has two parts. Part before decimal point is known as whole number part, and part after decimal point is known as decimal part. Okay. Now let's take the number again and let's see the place value. Normal numbers, you know the place value like that. In decimal number, what is the place value of each digit? Okay, look at the place value of the whole number part before decimal. Before decimal, the place value goes like as we did for the normal numbers. This is ones place, so three's place value is three ones, which is three, three itself. Place value of this three is three tens. So it is thirty. Okay, that is the place value of the whole number part before decimal point. Now after decimal point we have one three seven. After decimal point we have one three seven. What is the place value? So here the place value starts from this place, from uh, from left towards right. Here from right towards left place value starts. Okay, so the first one this place is known as Ten the place, so it is one tens. That is denoted as one by ten. One by ten, one tenth. That is one by ten. The place value of three. How do you write the place value of three? Three is three three hundred three. Hundred. Okay, so that is written as three by hundred. Three hundred. It's written as three by hundred. Now, next is this place seven. That is seven thousands. So that is written as seven by thousand. So from Left to right, the place value starts with tenth, not with one. There is no one place value. It starts with tenth, tenth, hundredth, thousandth. Okay, so tenth means it is the digit is one, so it is one by ten. Hundredth means in hundredth place the digit is three, so it's three by hundred. Hundredth, hundred means one by hundred. Thousandth, thousandth means one by thousand. Okay, so seven thousand, which means seven by thousand. So this is the place value of each digit in a decimal number. Okay. So the number is thirty-three point one three seven. So we have seen the place value of each digit in this number. Now we can make the expanded form. How can you write this number in the expanded form? Okay, expanded form is starting from here. Three. That is thirty. Three tens. Plus next one. Three ones. It is three. Plus now decimal. 
this is place is called tenth. So it is written as one by ten. Okay. Second place hundred. So three by hundred. Hundredth place. And this is thousandth. So it is called seven by thousand. This is called the expanded form of a decimal number. And this expanded form is also known as fraction form. Fraction form. Okay, now the same expansion we can write in the decimal form, decimal expansion form, other ways. Or we can write another form, thirty plus three plus one by ten. One by ten. How do you write one by ten in decimal? Ten means there is one zero. So in the numerator the number is one. In that one shift one place to the left. So it will become point here. So zero point one. So one by ten is zero point one. So instead of one by ten, we can write zero point one. So when you divide a number by ten, in the numerator shift a decimal point to the left, one place to the left, because here it is ten. Okay, zero one zero. Now next one, three by hundred. Same way. Three by hundred. When you divide a number by hundred, shift two places to the left, okay, and put the decimal point. So when you shift two places to the left, there is only one place. So we don't have another place here. So put zero and then put decimal. So zero point zero three. Two places are shifted and put the decimal. Okay. So here it is zero point zero three. Next is seven by thousand. Seven by thousand. So when you divide a number by thousand, shift three places to the left. Shift three places. So here there is only one place. So when there is no place to the left, add zeros. Two place again one more zero. Third place and put decimal. So the answer is zero point zero zero seven. So this is also expanded form, and this expanded form is called decimal form. Decimal form, and this expanded form is called fraction form. So understood how to write a decimal number into a, an expanded form, either in fraction or in decimal. Another example: two five two point one eight five. Okay, let's write, start writing the. Expanded form. This is ones place, tens place, hundreds place. Start from the hundred. Two in the hundred place. So two hundred plus five in the tens place. So fifty plus two in the ones place. So plus two. So the whole number part is over. Before decimal point, we call this whole number part. Whole number part is. Place value is the normal way. How we did in the normal numbers. Now we come to the decimal part. This is the tenth, tenth place, tenth place. So one is the digit in the tenth place. So we will write one by ten plus and eight. Eight is the hundredth place, hundred. So eight by hundred plus next five is the Thousandth place. So we write five by thousand. Okay. Now, how do you write the same expansion in the decimal form? This is fraction form. Okay. Decimal form it is two hundred plus fifty plus two plus. How do you write one by ten? When you divide a number by ten, shift one place to one place of decimal to the left, so it becomes zero point one. Then here, here you have to shift two places, so zero point zero eight. Okay, here you have to shift three places, zero point zero zero five. So both are expanded form of a decimal number, but in two ways. One is fractional form, and other is decimal form. All these are basic things. In this chapter, we are going to learn another new concept. Before we enter into the new concept, I just give an idea of what is a decimal number. Okay.